Good morning, boys and girls. Our read aloud for today is a book called Rainbow Stew. This is written by Catherine Falwell. As you listen to the story, I would like you to think about this question. What colors do you see in food? Have you ever closely looked at the colors of the food you eat? So again, as you listen, think about the colors you see in food. Rainbow Stew Stretch, wiggle, sniff, and giggle. We scramble from our beds. Grandpa's making pancakes for his favorite sleepy heads. We love to visit Grandpa. It's always so much fun. He lets us play outside all day so we can jump and run. Whimper sigh, cloudy sky, is it too wet to play? We don't want to stay inside because of rain today. Grandpa smiles and says to us, I know what we can do. Let's go and find some colors for my famous rainbow stew. Boys and girls, what do you think the author means when she writes, My famous rainbow stew? What do you think Grandpa and the children are going to make? Splish, splash, puddle, dash, we bounce right out the door. We're off to find some red and green, some yellow, orange, and more. Grandpa shows us how to move between each garden row. Lifting up the drippy leaves, we see what colors grow. Drip, drop, shake, and hop. Here are lots of greens, spinach, kale, and cucumbers, zucchini, peas, and beans. We find some yellow peppers and a purple cabbage head. We tug on rosy radishes and pop them from their bed. Slip slide, squishy stride, we snip off red tomatoes. We dig into the dark wet dirt and pull out brown potatoes. We jump around like grasshoppers and buzz about like bees. We creep along like ladybugs and all get muddy knees. Pull, pick, gather quick. We need more for the stew. Grab some orange carrots and a purple eggplant too. Our basket's full of colors. We park it by the door. Our clothes and boots are dripping, making puddles on the floor. Grandpa helps us wash our hands and dries our soggy hair. It's almost time to cook, he says, so find dry clothes to wear. Peel, slice, chop, and dice. Colors fill the pot. Stir in herbs and water and then wait till it gets hot. Boys and girls, what does the author mean when she writes, stir in herbs? Do you know what herbs are? Herbs is the plural form of herb, which means there's more than one herb. An herb is a plant used to add flavor to dishes. So it could be anything that um, is picked right out from the garden, or it could be um, dried up spices that you can put in a pot of stew when you are making or cooking something. What is a stew? A stew is a dish made of pieces of meat and vegetables cooked together in a liquid. Grandpa says he's proud of us. We're such terrific cooks. While the stew is heating, we have time to read our books. Howl, yell, tummies growl, we're a hungry bunch. It's time to serve up heaping bowls of rainbow stew for lunch. Yum, yum, yum. Well, I sure hope you like that story about rainbow stew. I do have some questions for you that you might want to talk about with your moms or dad. Why do you think the stew is called rainbow stew? 
How are the vegetables and the stew alike? How are they? They different. Would you like to try Grandpa's rainbow stew? Why, or why not? So back to our first question. I had asked in the beginning the question: What colors do you see in food? Have you thought about it? Share with your parents what colors you see in the food you eat.